Well, welcome to the Culture Maker podcast. Great to have you with me. Culture Maker is the podcast that's all about helping dads lead well at home. And last week I introduced shame and how shame uh, is present in each of our homes. And this is a special bonus episode where I encourage us to step out of the matrix that is the way that we currently lead and to take the red pill, <laughs> which will reveal to us a whole new world of leadership at home. So this is a fun little bonus episode, and I hope you enjoy it. Now, I don't know how many of you watch The Matrix, if you're around my age, and I'm pretty sure you have seen it, or at least aware of the concept of The Matrix. But if you're a young dad, then perhaps you haven't. Well, The Matrix is a movie about AI taking over the world in a really insidious way. And what the AI uh, does is actually sort of plug us in, um, literally plug us all in to sleep, and it it plugs us into the computer and uses us as energy. Um, And what it does is to keep us all happy uh, and from rejecting the sleep mode is plug our brains into an artificial reality dream world um, that is so real it feels real so that we don't reject it Um, and in the matrix uh, what um, humans think is that they are awake um, but they're actually asleep laying inside an embryo of fluids stacked in rows upon rows level after level inside the massive towers that make up the AI. Now those plugged into the matrix don't realize that the way that they are living is not how they should be living and they're completely oblivious to how things really are. Uh, But then uh, there's the resistance, a small group of humans that are somehow free of the matrix. They are unplugged, um, but they hack into the matrix to free others who can help them sort of bring it all down. Now, the leader of of the resistance is a man named Morpheus who goes looking for Neo, a hacker who's been prophesied to be the one who can beat the Matrix. Uh, But to free Neo from the Matrix, Neo has to take the red pill. And what the red pill will do is free Neo's mind of the Matrix. It'll make him reject um, the fake reality that um, and, and cause him to wake up in his embryo of fluids and force him to pull out all the plugs out of his neck and his body and to take his first breath in the real world. So Morpheus offers Neo two pills. The red pill which will wake him up to the reality, or the blue pill, which will allow him just to carry on, sort of just to forget the conversation ever happened and wake up back at home as if nothing ever happened. Well, today, I too want to offer you the same choice. But in my scenario, the blue pill is a concrete pill. It's the pill us men take and that tells us all to harden up, right? Take a concrete pill and harden up. And now some of you know this, but I work inside the concrete industry. Uh, well, we make, at Flare Fires, we make large concrete outdoor fireplaces. And being in the concrete industry, uh, we have to be tough. You know, um, it was one of the first things that was um, asked of me when I, um, you know, applied for the job was, how tough are you, you know? Um, taking concrete pills is how we start our day. You know, we put them in our coffees in the morning. We are tough, man. And that's the concrete pill, the blue pill that we've all swallowed that tells us that men don't cry and don't, and not to be a crybaby. Well, we tell our boys, to, uh, don't cry, don't be a crybaby or throw some dirt on it. Just take a concrete pill and harden up. It's for this reason that men don't go to parenting courses because uh, to need to talk about something means you're weak. And don't be a crybaby. Man, if there's something wrong in your family, just harden up, man. There's something wrong in every blooming family. So just suck it up, harden up, and toughen up, and you don't need to talk about it, for goodness sake. Well, that is the blue pill. And if that's what you think or how you act, then you've definitely swallowed the blue pill. And the blue pill is great because you can just get to forget Get that things could be better. You get to forget that things could be different, that things um, actually need to be better, and that things aren't how they were designed to be. And it's fine because everyone's like you, and they've all taken the blue pill. They've taken the concrete pill and the hardening up and the shutting up and the pushing it down. Uh, but the problem is, it's all a lie. 
It's not based in truth. It's not based in what is healthy and what is happy and what is right and what is proper for us men. But the blue pill is great because you get to forget all that whilst looking like a real man. Now in the Matrix, Neo doesn't take the blue pill. Of course, when he's presented with the option, he goes and takes the red pill. He steps out of his reality and for the first time, he sees how things really are. And the thing is, there is something in behind the way that we live that you can only see when you take the red pill. There is a whole other reality which is not in any way a reflection of our reality. There's a whole other truth and behind life that we can only see when we take the red pill. Now, if the blue pill is hard enough, the red pill isn't necessarily soft enough. It's part of it, but what the blue pill does is it allows us to see the limits in our leadership for the first time. It allows us to see the things in our leadership that are getting in the way of our goals as a dad. It allows us to see what's going on and it allows our children and our partner to actually feel seen and heard and understood for the first time. All the zeros and ones behind the matrix get seen and understood, and that's the red pill, man, and we all need to take it. We do, because what's happening with the blue pill is the world is going to hell in a handbasket, right? We're all plugged into the matrix, and as a result, your suicide rate in New Zealand is off the charts. It's literally off the charts. It's like double the, the worst other country in the world. For, for reals, New Zealand's youth suicide rate is double the worst other country in the world. And our youth anxiety rates are off the charts as well. Hospitalisation for youth mental health and the doling out of antidepressants uh, for less than 19-year-olds is, is just going ballistic. Our kids are unhappy. <laughs> I mean really unhappy. Whilst we are happily toughing it out. And so I don't think the blue pill is working for people. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing the job. It doesn't seem to be solving the problem. And if it was, you know, um, we have um, at times plenty of spare concrete and I could put some in a bottle, you know, I could put some in some little little capsules, paint them blue, um, maybe paint the bottle blue as well and sell them. But I don't, I don't know. I don't, you know, I think we're starting to see that something's wrong. I think they're all starting to recognize that something is really wrong and that it has to change. And I know from speaking to unmarried dads, you know, dads who are part of that growing majority who, who never marry, um, or dads whose marriage has ended, and dads who um, have a more traditional looking home. Everyone's looking for things to be better at home. Everyone's wanting home to be a safe place, a face, a face, a place uh, that is filled with love and respect. That's what we want. Well, we get to have that when we take the red pill so that we can see what we need to change at home for our partner and our kids and ourselves. And if you didn't hear my last episode, this is a good time to watch or listen to the episode called Meet Shame. Um, and that podcast is designed to help us meet maybe for the first time the shame hidden in our families and hiding in our leadership. Well, listening to that podcast, that episode, is like Neo meeting Morpheus for the first time. He's holding his hands out with the red pill in one and the blue pill in another. But to actually change the way we lead, we need to take the red pill. Now, in my story, to take the red pill is to sign up to the Shame and Our Leadership coaching series. It's a seven email series called The Shame in Our Leadership and it will help us see the shame and how we lead at home. It will even be helpful for how you lead at work but it will expose you to what shame looks like in leadership and how it affects those that we lead. You'll see how shame is the limiter of your leadership and <clears throat> excuse me, you'll see where the limits of your leadership are. It's really only for those who want to lead where it matters and in ways that really matter. So I want to encourage you, if that's you, head to culturemaker.org forward slash shame or 
Gosh, just head to coachmaker.org and find shame in the menu and subscribe to the shame in our leadership coaching series. Or if you're ra- you'd rather not, then, you know, I'd like to invite you just to keep on taking the blue pill. You know, here's the blue pill. Um, that way you can just keep hardening up and toughing it out and pushing it down and forgetting this conversation ever happened. But, man, the world does need change. The world needs dads. And, uh, gosh, the way us dads are leading isn't working at the moment. Our homes are unhappy. Our kids are depressed. And anxiety is filling our families. Now, some of you can't relate to that. Your homes are warm. I mean, they are really warm and inviting. And they're really safe places for all who live there. You know, there's nobody hiding in their rooms at your home. And your kids can talk to you freely about what about what's going on in their, in their lives. And your home... Uh, in your home, people feel seen and safe and secure. Well, even for you, I, I think if you're that dad, uh, you'll love reading um, The Shame in your leadership coaching series too. I know you'll really enjoy it. It'll feel the support and inspire you to lead well at home. But if you're thinking, nah, my home could be better. I, I want an even better relationship with my kids. I want my home to feel warmer and happier and easier. And gosh, you might be divorced or separated and you're wondering, how can I still be a great dad? Well, go on, head to culturemaker.org, sign up to the shame in your leadership coaching series and uh, I'll see you on the other side.